Hi there, we're um, at Blythe Edwards Studios. We're just finishing up two uh, hand-painted tables that we restored uh, the tops of the uh, varnish. The old varnish had crackled and peeled and chipped. We took all that off, we sanded it down, and we put a new primer on and re, uh, re applied the same design, only better. Um, this table here has a glaze on it this one does not. You can see a slight difference. That one looks a little smoother. But we're doing a little bit, bit of antique so that the finish uh, is in coherence with the, the rest of the table. So I'm about to start this glaze. It's a fairly quick process because you want to work quickly. I'm putting some brown latex glaze on my brush and I'm just going to start in one corner and I'm going to just smear it on fairly heavily, evenly. Get a little more glaze. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this whole section all at once. So I want to get it fairly covered. Then I'm going to go to a different part of my rag, a cleaner part of my rag, and I'm going to start giving it some texture with a pouncing technique. And on the edge that's wet, I'm going to blend it out so that when I come back to do the rest of the table, it will blend in with what I'm doing right now. So here I'm just creating some texture with my terry cloth. You can do a little smudging and smearing. And uh, in the middle here, I want it to be a little lighter, so I'm going to just take a little off with my rag and then continue pouncing to create the texture. Now, when I'm finished with this, if I decide it needs another layer, I can do this again, but we want for this layer to dry fairly well first. So that's the first section. While it's still fresh, you can always add a little more, but if it starts drying, then you have to let it dry completely. So I'm going to get some more glaze here, same rag, and I'm just going to do this middle section. You have to be sort of haphazard with it. You don't want it to look too pristine, otherwise it doesn't look like it has aged gracefully. This is an antique or a reproduction of an antique, I'm not sure which, but uh, it's a beautiful table and I've never seen one like it. So here again in the middle I want to lighten that up just a little bit, so I'm going to take a cleaner part of my rag and I'm going to just go in the middle, take a little bit of that glaze off and then blend it back in. So you have sort of a light area in the middle. Now this area that's my wet edge, I want to keep that sort of soft. One more dip of glaze. I can probably do this whole thing with that. If you have any holes or pits, make sure you get the glaze down in there. So I'm creating sort of my even texture. Then I'm going to come back and lighten up the middle section just a little bit. Take care.